It's got a 777 megahertz core clock. You guys can say that about any of your stuff? I don't think so. That's right, it's near perfection. Um, they have corrected almost every gripe that anybody's ever had about an ATI product with the 3870. We're looking at the uh, Vision Tech 3870 and the uh, Vision Tech 3850. Uh, of course, it's the HD standing for high definition. And let's talk about what's going on with this card. Now, they released a new card. It's based on the, uh, the 55NM process, so it's a smaller card. Um, all around smaller, but more powerful than the 2900 by just a little bit. It's PCI Express 2.0. Um, also, take a look at this card. Uh, it looks nice. You can see there's a large uh, heat sink there. It stays cooler than the 2900 XT, and it uses a lot less power. You might have noticed it on the back here. It only requires one 6-pin PCI Express connector. The, the, the uh, 2900 required one of those and an 8-pin. So it required a lot more power. Now let's talk about power. That's what everybody's uh, been waiting to hear about. I've been getting a lot of emails about this, Randy. Really? Yeah, I've been flooding my inbox. People are wondering uh, when I'm going to do a video. So. When are you doing a video? Uh, I was thinking about doing it tomorrow, as a matter <laughs> of fact. All right. Speaking of power, 777 <laughs> megahertz core clock. So the perfect number there for the core clock. That's nice. Also, the memory clock on this is uh, at uh, 2250. So really, really fast on the memory. It's GDDR4. That means it's more power efficient and also faster. And uh, what do you hear some of the overclocks I've been seeing with this card? Uh, 320 stream processors as well. Uh, that's nice. And it's a 256 bit card. So the bandwidth on this thing is insane. Now, what everybody wants to know really is how fast is this? How good is it? How does it run the games? Well, you know what? Let's put some gameplay footage on the screen. And I'm going to read some, some uh, benchmarks that we did here. Let's talk about Half Life 2, Episode 2. A demanding game. And uh, it gets the job done. All right, now, at uh, 1280 by 1024 uh, with uh, zero anti-aliasing and 16 times antiscropic filtering, I'm going to compare this with the uh, 8800 GT because the 8800 GT, a little more expensive, uh, but about the same spec. So let's compare those two. Now, at those settings, uh, 8800 uh, GT was averaging 134.93 frames a second. This card averaged uh, 132.87. So right up there with the GT, but... That's without the filters. Let's turn the filters up. Let's turn on uh, anti anti aliasing. Let's turn it up to 8x. Now, same exact test. Filters on. 153 frames per second for the 3870. 142 for the 8800 GT. So you can see right there, it beats the 8800 GT with the filters, and that's something that um, ATI has always been known uh, for the for the way they do with you know the, how, their performance with the filters. You know, uh, when when you turn up all the anti aliasing and all the antitropic filtering. Uh, usually, you know, we used to get really good performance. Well, the 2900 XT, it was reversed. For some reason, NVIDIA was a little faster with the filters on. Not anymore. When you turn on the filters, you get the better quality uh, pictures with this card, and it runs faster. All right, let's go to the next uh, test result here. Uh, I wanted to take the same thing, Half-Life 2, again, because it's one of the best games out right now. I'll talk about Crisis in a we second. Should never now, let it uh, episode 2, crank up the resolution to 1600 by 1200. We'll keep the uh, anti-aliasing at 8x and the anti filtering at 16x. Now, this card gets 74.95 frames per second. Compare that to the 8800 GT at around 60 frames a second. So about 15 frames per second difference in this card and the 8800 GT. And that's a lot to talk about. That makes this card the most uh, valuable card when you talk about price to performance ratio. And um, it's really, really a good way to go. Another thing about this card, it features Crossfire X, meaning you can run not two, but four of these things at the same time. If you get the new AMD Spider platform, you can run four of these things at the same time. That's the most scalable platform on the, uh, on the market. That's insane, Randy, running four of these things. That's uh, really insane. Now, you're going to be able to run two of these with the X38 uh, the motherboards. I noticed that the X X38 motherboards had uh, three of the PCI Express uh, slots. And I talked to somebody from Intel, and he said, I said, what's that, what's that third one for? He said, well, you know, it's for... Uh, it's for future third uh, three graphics card applications. I said, when? He goes, that's all he said was, well, I don't know. He wasn't supposed to talk about it. So um, in the future, you're probably going to be able to see uh, three of these in uh, the, the X38 or maybe even the X, uh, X48 uh, chipset from Intel. So that's cool as well. All right, let's talk about heat. Now, a lot of people were complaining about uh, the 2900 XT getting hot. And, uh, I mean, those cards are fast. I've been using them for a while in my house. But... Um, they do get a little warm, and uh, they do use a lot of power. Let's talk about the uh, power consumption on this one. If you look at the chart here, 
it's all the way at the bottom. It uh, uses less power than the 8800 uh, GTS. It uses less power than the 8800 GT. It uses less power than the 2900 and the GTX. So it's the best when it comes to uh, power. And also, one thing you're going to notice, when you're using this card in your system, you're not going to hear anything. Uh, a lot of people are saying that they can hear their case fans over this. The 2900 was a loud card. Again, it was a powerful card, but uh, this card's really going to replace that in every way because it's just about whisper quiet, even at full load. How about Crossfire performance? How does it run uh, in Crossfire? Now, I want to compare this to the GTX and Crossfire because when you think about it, if you're going to be running two of these cards, it's probably going to cost you about the same amount of money as one GTX. All right, two of these, uh, the 3D Mark score was 17503. Now, the 3D Mark score with uh, one GTX is 13023. So you can see, again, price to performance. We got a winner right here. Now let's talk about the last thing I want to talk about, and that's overclocking. We've had some insane overclocks with this. I saw a guy online, he did a review on this card, a full review. He was able to get this card uh, all the way to 860 megahertz. That's the core clock. And get this, he pushed the, uh, the, frequency, or the, the frequency on the RAM to 2748. That's insane. That's like a five or 600 megahertz overclock. Now, with those settings, this card really does uh, rival the GTX. I mean, you can always put on a, a larger heat sink if you want to make sure it doesn't get too hot. But that was with the stock cooler. He was able to push it that much. So the card's very overclockable. You can do it right there in the uh, Catalyst Control Center. So it's very easy to overclock as well. It's just a slider. That's all you got to do. No uh, head scratching, no third-party applications. It's all built in to the drivers. And another thing I like about the drivers, the drivers, every time they update them, things get a little faster. The last thing I want to talk about is Crisis. How's it going to run Crisis? Well, at 1280 by 1024, it gets over 40 frames per second, sometimes 40 to 50, depending on your computer. That's nice, Randy. Uh, a lot of people are getting 20 to 30 frames per second, so it does a very good job with Crisis as well. All in all, an extremely complete card. Like I said, they've corrected a lot of the uh, issues, and they've been listening. They got on the forums, and, said, and you guys talked about the 2900 XT. What, 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 do, you, what do you want to see different? Uh, it's, it's DirectX 10.1. Uh, there's a unified video decoder on board. It's uh, one of the best cards on the market uh, when it comes to uh, HD content because it removes almost all the stress from the CPU. It removes more stress than just about any other card out there. Uh, another thing, it, it works with all the HD content like Blu-ray uh, and HD DVD. It works with a lot of stuff without any trouble whatsoever. So all around a good card. And another thing that a lot of people always mention on the forums, uh, with the ATI AMD cards, you'll notice that the image quality is almost always cleaner. So not only are you getting a very fast card, you're getting a card that has extremely uh, clean image quality. So what do you guys think about this thing? It looks nice. And also, uh, really quick, I want to mention the, uh, the 3850 because that card is uh, another card in the line. It, it has a little less RAM, 256 uh, uh, megabytes of memory, but the benchmarks are in, and this thing is only uh, 5 to 10 frames per second slower, uh, and it's also a good price. Now, let me tell you why this one's very cool. If you're running four graphics cards in a system, you might have noticed that this one's not quite as big. It's a smaller heatsink. It's only going to take up uh, one slot in your computer. See there? So uh, you, you might have noticed that it only takes up, like I said, uh, one slot, it's a little little smaller, and uh, uses about the same amount of power, but uh, all in all, so let me show, the, show you the two beside each other here, like Randy wanted me to do. See, there you go, take a look at that. See, this one is going to use two slots, and this one's only going to use one, but uh, I mean, the frames per second difference are only 5 to 10 frames per second difference with the 30, uh, 3850. So still a very good card, and I'd highly recommend either one of them. You guys have any questions, send me an email, logan at tiger.tv. See you next time. Information on Vision Tech's Radeon HD 3870, you go to Tiger Direct and type V261 3870 into the search box or call us 800 800 8300. If you're looking for the 3850, type V261 3850 into the search box.